I'm going to read you the title of an article from TMZ, and uh, I want to see what your thoughts are on it, okay? Mm-hmm. Here's the article title. 90 Day Fiancé, that's the name of a TV show, Stephanie Motto, I made 100K selling my farts in jars, but it's taking toll on me. It's taking toll on you for selling farts. Okay, I read the title. Do you want me to read some details from the article? Yes. Okay. And you let me know when to stop, okay? (laughs) Stephanie Motto says she's earning six figures just from farting into jars, but all that gas is taking a bit of a toll on her health, both mentally and physically. If you thought buying NFTs was weird, the 90 Day Fiance star tells TMZ she's already banked about 100000 from selling her jarred farts to fans, but her process almost put the artist in the hospital. Stephanie tells us she usually sets aside two or three days a week to work on her hustle, eating foods typically associated with being gassy, like beans and fiber bars. While it sounds like easy money, Stephanie says she recently ate way too much fiber bars and it nearly sent her to the emergency room. Mm. No rest for the flatulent, though. Although fans keep clamoring for products, Stephanie says she's only going to keep her biz going as long as she feels up to it and as long as the checks keep coming. What's really interesting about this convo is she's straight-faced the whole time, even while explaining why, which she puts a flower petal inside each jar. Serious stuff. Stephanie tells us exactly how she ended up going down this road, and we got to say she's got a head for business and a colon to match, apparently. What do you make of what I just read? I think she should start, she should start shitting in the jars. That'll save her all those parts. <laughs> stop fucking... Her name is Stephanie? Yes. Stephanie, stop fucking playing with me, Okay. Stop selling your fucking farts in them fucking jars to them people. But no, it's getting you a bag, though. But damn, your farts? That's crucial. That is some shit. No pun intended. That's some shit. Before I even read you this article, have you ever even heard of this hustle? No. Uh, farts in a jar? I could be selling my farts in this jar. Now that I've <laughs> actually read this article to you and you know it exists, is this something you would ever consider yourself? But I probably, I'll probably fart in a jar. <laughs> For $100,000, six figures, yeah, I'm farting in the jar. As a matter of fact, y'all fuck with me. Big legs selling big farts in a jar. My shit's going to be big, though. When you open it up, it's big shit. Okay, now let's remove her and, uh, uh, let's remove her from the equation, for lack of a better phrase. What's the most unique thing you have done for money? I ain't really did nothing that deep. The only thing I ever did was dance. That's the only thing I ever did was dance for some money. I, I ain't never sold a fart or sold a pair of drawers or nothing like that. I'm trying to think, though. Have you had requests for this stuff? I've had requests for it, yeah. I've had requests for, like, my underwear. um, Just my underwear before. But I just... I ain't sending my jar. I, I'm not doing that, though. Fart in a jar? Yeah, that's a little less personal. But, like, my drawers? Nah. Now, let's just be a little bit more specific. When somebody requested your 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 underwear, they wanted it to be, like, used like you just wore it or just a pair of your underwear that you have in your drawer, your underwear drawer, so to speak? No, some underwear that I have already worn. Yeah. Did they put a dollar figure for it? No, they didn't put a dollar figure for it. They just asked me, would I sell them? You know, but like, I was just like, no, I'm not selling them. Like, I'm going to wrap this around my nigga nose and stuff it in his throat later on. Now, when they proposed this request to you, did they mean literally right then and there, like, strip off your underwear, I'll buy it right now type of thing? Or they were just kind of speaking, hey, if you're interested in doing this, I'm interested in buying it. Well, they DM me on Instagram and was like, would you be interested in selling my used panties? And then I just politely went to the block and blocked them. Okay. I know there was a time you worked in the exotic, uh, in the gentleman's club. Mm -hmm. So I didn't know how I proposed it. I'm thinking, and I'm assuming here, 
maybe somebody saw you in the club and wanted the panties off from you from that shift, so to speak. <laughs> no. Okay. Maybe if it was then, then yeah. Like if I was in a strip club and I had danced in it, and the dude was like, hey, I'll give you, uh, I'll give you uh, five bands for them drop, then yeah, like, yeah, bro, go ahead and get them. But like just to be at home and calculate on a computer and be like, yeah, I got some pink drawers I just wore. No, I can't. Now, when it comes to requests, what's the strangest request for money you've ever been asked? The strangest thing I've ever been asked is for sex. And I, I, I'm not like that type of hoe. Like I can't sell coochie. You know, I feel like my coochie is on the rich nigga level. So it only attracts rich niggas. But I can't like lay down and have sex for money as a living though, you know? So. Just for transparency, have you ever in your life had sex for money? No. I'm sure you've been requested. Oh yeah, people ask me all the time. I feel like if if you if you're not in like a relationship with somebody and you like occasionally see them and you have sex with that person and they give you money, that's the same thing as like a trick. And I don't have tricks, so What's the most amount of money you've ever been offered for sex? The most money I've ever been offered was like 10 bands. Dude said he'd give me 10 bands, but he was a rich nigga, but it's like, I just ain't into me and four or five other girls getting 10 bands to have sex with you. It's like, I, I'm big on cleanliness, and like I can't really see in the back of people's mouths so I can't, I can't get down with the oral sex thing and, you know, I just don't know what you got and I can't smell a dick. I just can't, I, I can't, I don't like the mystery dick. I can't do the mystery dicks. That's, that's the thing about me. I need to know where the dick is. I want to, you know, be around it for a couple, for a couple of weeks. It's like, you know, I want to see how you're washing your balls, or your shave down there, you know, stuff like that. I just can't, because I would hate to run into a stank dick. Like, I've never ran into a stank dick. But if I ever run into a stink dick, like, ugh. Now, speaking of men's genitalia, mm -hmm. what about circumcised versus uncircumcised? I have never seen an uncircumcised dick before. I've never seen one. But I know Kodak Black is uncircumcised, and I will peel that bitch back for him. Okay. Well, those are my questions for that conversation there. Uh, and for time reference, it's December 2021 now.